So you're getting ready to replaster your pool? Here's some very important information you need to know before you proceed with any contractor. So I'm uh, George Tyndall. I'm a licensed uh, civil engineer in the state of California. And I specialize in uh, forensic analysis of uh, swimming pools. The resurfacing of uh, swimming pools is really important because how the uh, resurfacing is done can have a significant impact on the structural strength of a swimming pool. Getting the new plaster or the new pebble to stick properly is, is the big thing, and so the prep methods really vary. Uh, the National Plasters Council uh, recognizes quite a few different methods, starting from sandblasting the old surface. Also, uh, another method is to strip pools using uh, air hammers, uh, electric hammers, and, and uh, jackhammering that off. Air hammers or electric chipping hammers is, is a, uh, can be a significant problem for swimming pools on how, how it's done. If you use a chipping hammer, especially large chipping hammers with large or small blades and points, you remove part of the gunite or the shotcrete of the pool wall and that overall weakens the pool structure itself and can cause long-term problems. And that's what we found over the years, you know, replastering close to 30,000 pools. We've tried a lot of different methods. That's a lot of swimming pools. It is a lot of swimming pools. And the more often they're stripped, the closer you get to the steel rebar or the, uh, the structural steel. That really is where the bulk of the strength of the pool came from. And we started seeing more and more problems. And then we switched to an alternative method, which was this high pressure water blasting. Now, the, there's a big difference in uh, when you say water blasting. Um, I think there's a lot of misunderstanding. When we say high pressure water blasting, this isn't your mother's sidewalk water blaster. It's not my steam cleaner. It's not your steam cleaner. We're, we're talking uh, 40,000 PSI. Um, it's a fairly large trailer uh, that comes in with a um, high, high pressure. I mean, you have to wear protective gear. And we have a rotating nozzle uh, that actually spins very quickly and cuts through uh, the pool surface material, either completely removing it if it's soft, or at least what we're looking for is a very rough mechanical profile for the new process or the new um, products to stick to. Well, we've been using this method uh, for years. I have a couple of units because our primary business is resurfacing and we've had tremendous success with that. And you can tell uh, a lot by what kind of warranty you get from when somebody's given you a replaster uh, bit. If it's a good long warranty, um, they have a lot of confidence in what they're doing. We give very large warranties with what we're doing. This solves a lot of structural problems with swing poles and will prolong the life of the swing pole for the owner. The standard method so many contractors are using today is to strip the plaster off the gunite with pneumatic air hammers or electric chipping hammers. This method is not recommended by swimming pool engineers, and the method that we highly recommend is use a high pressure water jetting or water blasting to physically remove the plaster and not to create shell trauma and not to create abnormal amounts of dust and to create a superior bonding platform or what we call an anchor profile for your new plaster to stick to. However, occasionally there are situations when stripping plaster off the pool shell is necessary. For example, when removing multiple layers of plaster, indoor pools, or when a pool shell will be completely regunited. We would then recommend using flat, wide chisels to shave off the plaster during the stripping process to minimize gunite loss and shell trauma. Also, a high-quality bond coat can be used when applicable.